Hello, Chris Groff here from Kruger School of Applied Technologies. In this lesson, what we're going to be doing is setting up basically some advanced features on our paint pot uh, so that when we take a picture, the picture will come up as our drawing canvas and we'll also have a tiny database where that is stored. And this was actually written by one of my students, Parker Watson. He showed me how to do this. So I just wanted to relay that to you guys. I thought it was a really cool thing that he did. Um, so let's check out what Parker did. Alright, so to set it up, you want to add a camera button. So go to button, drag it in here, rename it camera button. And it doesn't matter how you arrange these. I've set up a table arrangement down here underneath um, the wipe, small dots, big dots. Uh, so I set up a table arrangement and then you want to add in a text box. So drag in a text box here, name it text box file name. Then get another button, drag it down here. This is going to be our save button. You want to rename it save button. And what these two will do is you'll type in the file name in the text box and then you'll hit save and that'll save it to our tiny database. So we need to get our tiny database so under other stuff you're going to select tiny database and drag it onto your canvas and it'll come up as a non-visible component and under media you're going to get a camera as well and drag it down here and it'll be a non-visible component as well so once you have those in let's open up the blocks and let's I'll show you how this was set up first thing you want to do is set up the screen one dot initialize so under my blocks you're going to go down to screen one and get the one that says screen one dot initialize and I've, I already have it here but I'm going to walk you guys through it so we need an if test then do statement so you're going to go to built in and controls and select if test then do so under test you're going to do not so the logic you're going to select not and then is text empty so that's going to be found under text and then you want to call the tiny database one get value and then the file name for it so under my blocks you're going to go to your tiny database call database get value and then text and put file name And then um, what we want it to do is set the drawing canvas. All right, so for drawing canvas one, you're going to go to where it says set drawing canvas dot background image. And then we're going to call that value again for the database. So copy and paste and put it down like that. All right, so I'm going to delete this so I don't crash mine when I open it. Next thing we're going to set up is our save button. So you're going to go to my blocks, go down to the save button. So when the save button is clicked, you want it to store the database value. So let's go to tiny database, call, store the value. Okay, we want to give it under the tag we want text and then file name so go to built-in text type in file name store to value we want it to call the canvas one so we can save the file name and dot png as the extension so let's go to my blocks let's go to drawing canvas one and we want to call drawing canvas one dot save as and we need to go to built in text and find the one that says join and we're going to go to my blocks and we're going to go to text box file name dot text so whatever we type into our text box 
we want it to join with the extension .png. So go to text. and type period png so that'll be a png file that it saves it as so when you type in the text box whatever name you put that'll be saved and uh, if you go into your file system on your actual phone you'll see these pictures being saved on there alright so I'm going to delete it you guys don't want to do that alright and let's set up the camera now alright so we're going to go to my blocks and go to camera one and select when camera one dot after picture we want to set the camera picture uh, we want to set the drawing canvas to the camera picture alright so you're going to go to the drawing canvas set drawing one background image two and we want to go up to my blocks and at the very top my definitions and select the one that says value image. Okay. Yours and actually mine says image one here, um, but you'll say you'll select the one that says value image since you only have one of these. So I'll delete that. And then the last thing you need to do is set up the camera button. So when you click it, it'll take a picture. So go to the camera button. When the camera button is clicked you're going to go to camera one and you want it to call the procedure take picture so when you press the camera button it'll bring up the camera on your phone you can take the picture and then it'll prompt you to save it and you type in the file name and you save it um, and once you have that you should be able to um, you actually you need a real phone for this with an actual camera on it if you're using the emulator it won't work um, so you have to connect to your real phone and then give it a go and try it out. And it's just a little addition to our paint pot tutorial. Thank you.